Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Juwan Saad and the title of this video is My Journey to Six Pack Abs Week 14 and today is April the 13th, 2011, Wednesday morning. So I would like to apologize. I am doing the video a little late again, but uh, that's all right. I'm sure you don't mind too much. Anyway, I am very excited because I have finally achieved my goal and uh, from achieving this goal, I have learned a lot. I have, my, I have finally gotten my body fat to under 10%. My body fat is down to 9.7%. And I'm actually noticing a, a trend that's going on. And I believe the trend is off. It, it must be on the part, on part of the, uh, the trainers. And the, tr the, the trend is that uh, about a month or so ago, I had got my body fat down, when I had got my body fat down to 16%, I had did everything right and uh, I was dieting, exercising my tail off and everything and I really didn't do anything significantly wrong. Uh, but then I got my body fat tested the, fo uh, the, the following week and it went up to 18% and I just was like, what the heck, you know? Uh, if you look back, um, I think I did a video of that, on that, of course. And, uh, <clears throat> but then, the following week, um, after it went up to 18%, it had went down to 13%. Okay? So then, I continued dieting and everything, doing everything I usually do. And then I got it tested the following week, and I believe that would have been the previous video. Uh, it was still at 13%. It had actually went up a little bit. And, uh... I definitely had made some changes, and uh, the changes I made had definitely helped out. But the thing is, is that I believe that they had made an error again. I believe it did drop. It did drop even without these changes. Um, because now, I mean, it's impossible for someone's body fat percentage the previous week to be go from 13% down to 9%. Okay? So if you actually do that mathematically from... And, and, and thinking about it from the time they made the mistake originally, it was dropping at about 2% per week, actually. You know, so I, like for example, when it was originally at 16% and they got it uh, done the wrong wrong way, I really, the, the wrong time then, I really had, believe it had went down to about maybe um, 14 to, probably to like 14% or something like that, um, 15 to 14%. And then, the, and then the following week they did it right and it was down to 13%. And then after that when they said it went up to 18%, I really had, I really believe it came down to 11%. And then now this week it's down to uh, 9%, just under 10%, 9.7%. So uh, the, I, I'm very excited and uh, I, I, I have really uh, redone my diet completely and I'm very, uh, happy about this diet. Uh, I am eating six meals a day. All six of my meals are planned and uh, from doing this for uh, so long I finally got the meals planned right where I know I can do them. Um, low in calories um, and, and, and very inexpensive. I'm, I'm getting all, well, all of these meals high in protein is coming to uh, under, uh, under $30 a week. Okay, and all, and what I'm doing is, you know, you should be eating one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And so for me, at 187 pounds, that's around 30 grams of protein in each meal, and I've gotten that covered. And so all, for, so for seven days, a whole week of meals, six meals a day, I'm spending less than $30 a week. So yes, and they're low in calories. Uh, which is the key and it's obviously working because I've been doing that for a full week last week and my body fat is down to 9.7 now and please uh, don't mind the loud music out there I, I, it's, it, I hate that as soon as I started doing this video they cut up the music and they weren't playing the loud music all the time and this is my second take on the video because my first video someone was outside revving up a motorcycle so anyway enough without that I'm sure you can still hear me clearly never mind the music and the roosters so anyway um, I can definitely see the importance now and something amazing has happened and it's got to be as a result of me eating these six meals a day uh, and getting this 
extra protein in because the, the major contributing, contributing factor to my body fat going down to 9.7% is, is, is that, is that the muscle just went up. My muscle went up by 6 pounds in one week. Now any bodybuilder would tell you that it's actually not. That is impossible to gain 6 pounds of muscle in one week. So what actually, I believe has actually happened is that <clears throat> the glycogen has been restored into my muscles, and and and, and so uh, I, now my muscle is uh, my lean is 168 pounds of lean, and with the just over 18 pounds of body fat. So I've lost uh, over five pounds of fat in one week. So that's great. Now here is something that I'm, I have learned. I have learned that uh, it, the, you know, everyone, a lot of people say that uh, once you get your body fat under 10%, you'll have your six-pack abs. Well, I don't have the six-pack abs yet. They're starting to come in. I can feel it, but I don't have six-pack abs yet. And I, I believe that you would have six-pack abs if you were really doing lots of strenuous, or I won't say strenuous, but really pumping, uh, you know, doing lots of different ab exercises. And even though I was, and I was doing it consistently three days a week, I would only do like three or four. I would do planks, uh, crunches, le and leg lifts. And that's pretty much all I would do for the ab. And when I do crunches, I use a weight. I really wasn't doing a lot of different ab exercises. I was only doing it three days a week. So, uh, I, be I believe that if I really was focusing on the average size, maybe I wouldn't have six-pack abs by now. But that's all right. I'm still very happy with how I'm looking. Um, since I don't have the six-pack abs yet, I'm going to keep on play uh, pushing forward. We'll see just how far down I need to get my body fat in order to look the way I want to look because I don't look the way I want yet. So I'm going to keep on going. So uh, before I said under 10% was my goal, but that's not my goal anymore. I'm very excited that I got it down that low, but I got to keep on pushing. And uh, this is a learning experience, and I'm learning a ton, and I know that I'll be able to help out a ton of people once I accomplish this. And I am so happy, and I hope that you are happy I'm doing this video because it is not very often that you can find someone who had a body fat percentage of 30% or more and, and, and bringing it down like this. There's so many people out there that, that, that you can learn from, but there's not a lot of people who are actually obese and now is becoming ripped. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are ripped, but they've never experienced the obesity, and I'm one of those few, and I have videotaped myself from the very beginning to the very end. So, <clears throat> I'm really excited, and I know I'll be able to help out a lot of people. So I'm going to stand back and show you what I look like. The front. Side. Gotta show the side from both sides. There we go. Side and the back. So I can put my arms out. So there you go. So here's what I look like now. And um, another thing is that um, I, I I was able to wear size 32 shorts before, but then I had went back to size 34 because 32 was kind of tight. Well now I'm back to 32 and they're feeling loose. And that's awesome because, like I said before, man, the last time I could wear size 32, I was a kid, you know, and in all my life, I don't remember ever, ever remember being anything smaller than a 32, you know, and at, at the point where I was buying my own clothes in my life, I remember buying 32, you know, and that was about, I mean, uh, I, I was young, you know, I was very young, and, and and there was just a short period of time after that when I went to size 34. And uh, I was still in high school, you know. I was a um, freshman of sophomore in high school and I went to size 34. So, wow, you know, being down to 32, this is, wow, this is great, you know. And they're actually loose on me. I'm going to have to go get a belt for size 32. So that's awesome. You know, it's great. You know, and when you look, when I stand back, my bottom of my stomach kind of still pokes out a little bit, even in size 32. So that could only mean one thing that I pretty much always look like this my entire life, seems like, because I'm down to 32 now and I still got the gut. So having a flat stomach 
apparently is going to be something I've never had in my entire life. And in case it kind of seems like I'm talking like, hey, you know, I'm just realizing it, I am. Because when I was a teenager and all that stuff, I never really cared about my weight and all of that stuff. So, um, hey, gonna get there and, and I'm gonna enjoy it. I feel great and I would recommend this to anyone. So thank you for watching. Sorry the video was so long. Have a good day.